Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing out there? This is Ray. Got a great video for you guys today. We're going to discuss computers. I'm going to show you guys a couple of things you could do to get better performance out of your computer. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Alright guys, over here I'm running Windows XP Service Pack 3. Now, I know some of you guys might be wondering, how can I make my computer run a little quicker? When I launch my DAW, I open a few tracks, it starts getting slow. Well, before you try any of the things that I'm going to show you guys, go to the manufacturer's website. Make sure your computer is compatible. That's very important. Now, now let's say your computer passed every single requirement and you still want to get a little bit more performance out of it. Now, one of the things I love to do before I record before I start mixing a song, and when I'm done, I love to defrag my drives. It's a must, it helps. How to do that? Now, if you're running Windows XP, I'm gonna show you how. Go to my computer. Over here, I have a couple of hard drives. Now, let me explain something to you guys. I have my C drive, which is Windows XP. I have my Windows 7 drive. I have my Pro 2 Session drive, and I have my sample drive. I don't record in the same drive. I'm running Windows XP and my sessions are in here. So when I'm recording, everything's going into this drive. That's very important. That'll help you also with performance. Now, if you only have one drive, then it's fine. But I suggest in the future, save up a couple of bucks and buy yourself an, an external drive or an internal one. Now, going back to defrag. Now, here's how you defrag a drive. You right click any of the hard drives, go to property, go to tools, defrag. And you will analyze. And it, and it will tell you if you already defragged or if it needs it. In this case, you can see I don't need to defrag the drive. All right. Now, it's very important you do it on every drive. Just don't do it on your Windows or your, or your sound drive. Just do it on every single hard drive you have. Now, another thing that I think is very important is the way my desktop is. I don't know if you notice, I have no theme. I have a classic theme. I have no background. I know guys, it looks boring, it looks plain. I get tired of it sometimes too. I like to throw on my wallpaper or whatnot. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's about the performance. So it's very important. Try to keep everything very basic. Again, this computer is just for music production, nothing else. I'll browse the internet once in a while on it, but usually I will go sit on another computer. That way I'll keep the, the computer, you know, at its maximum performance. You don't want to give the computer a virus. You know, you don't want to go through none of that, start formatting the drive, reinstalling Windows. For that, you have another computer. There's so many things you could do. Now, to do this, there's a couple of ways to get this basic theme. You could right click anywhere on your desktop, you go to properties. Go to themes and over here you're gonna have my current theme windows xp theme classic theme or you could click the classic theme hit okay now that's not that's not what i did here's what i did my computer right click go to properties advanced performance settings then over here, you're gonna see visual effects. Most likely it's gonna be right there. What you wanna do is adjust for the best performance, hit apply, hit okay. The computer's gonna start disabling the background theme, your wallpaper, and it's gonna look like this, plain and boring. But you know what? That's gonna help. Another thing. There's a couple of ways you could do this. You could do this manually. Usually I do it manually, but just for this video, I found this a great application that does work. Well, here we go. ATF Cleaner. What this will do, it'll remove all your temporary files, all your Internet Explorer files, your Java files, recycling files. It'll, it'll definitely do its thing. I usually do all of this by hand manually. So select all, empty selected, no files were removed. Why? Because 
before making this video I already did all of this but it will tell you if you never ran this you'll be surprised let me tell you I ran this application on one of my clients computers and I removed four gigabytes of unused data I'm gonna make a video on Windows 7 right now I'm just doing it with Windows XP I'm currently upgrading my main computer all right yeah this is Ray if you need anything let me know I'll make a video later